Beloit Minster Bobcats started the weekend taking on the Olds Grizzlies and had a real barn buster with over a thousand fans in attendance and grabbing a 5-2 victory. The next night, the Bobcats took on the Canmore Eagles for the fourth game of their season series, with the Bobcats winning two of three. And the Bobcats were able to carry on their momentum from their previous win. Teague McAllister would start the scoring off five minutes into the first period. The Eagles would answer back with a shorthanded goal by Rhett DeConey late in the first, which would hold, leading to a 1-1 tie heading into the first intermission. The second period mirrored the first period with Alessio Nardelli scoring early for the Bobcats and Tyler Lohman scoring late to tie it up once again with a 2-2 tie heading into the third period. Both teams tightened up defensively in the third, but finally the Bobcats broke through. Remy Spooner would score at 11.36 and would extend his scoring streak to four games. The Bobcats were able to continue to shut down the Eagles, and in the final two minutes, still trailing by a goal, the Eagles would pull their goalie and with a power play would have a six-on-four man advantage. The Bobcats were able to fend off the Eagles, and a pivotal shot block would set up Ishan Mitu to ice the game with the empty net goal, leading to the final score of 4-2 for the Bobcats' victory. Well, it was pretty good, but I mean, I think I gotta give credit to like the team there. I mean, we had like... I think it was like two minutes and 30 seconds. We had to play six on four. Guys were selling out. It was like a team effort. Cavi made a good play to me, so uh, it felt felt really good, and we got the win, so yeah. The game against the Eagles also brought nearly 1,300 fans into the Centennial Civic Center, and the Bobcats were able to feed off the crowd to get the win. Well, they were awesome. A lot of fans, a lot more than usual, and we just really, really enjoyed the support from our community and really appreciate it and hope we put on a good show. The Bobcats will look to build on this two-game winning streak when they head on the road to take on the Camaros Kodiaks. Thomas Wildman, Primetime, Local News.